Hey folks, I am Tech Nivers, and this is the FL Sun Q5 Delta, also known as the QQ Mini. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a amazing Kira profile for this printer and get you printing and up and running. So if you just got a new FL Sun Delta Q5, hang in there because we're going to show you exactly what you need to do in order to slice your own models and get them printing in no time. All right, it's just gonna be a short and sweet video. It is super simple to set this up. As you can see, I have my FL Sun Q5 Costal Delta all set up here. We're gonna set up another one so you can see how I did this. And basically, you're gonna go to Settings, Printer, Add Printer. Um, and then in the Add a Non-Network Printer section, you're gonna scroll down to FL Sun and expand it. And once you do that, you should have these two options here. You wanna make sure to select the FL Sun QQ not the QQS. The reason for that is the clearance on the gantry. This is the appropriate one. So uh, you can go ahead and enter FL Sun Q5 down here for a name or whatever you feel is appropriate. I left mine alone because I'm going to actually remove this profile so I don't have duplicates. And the next thing we need to do is just click add. It should automatically change us to that profile being the selected profile. There we go. We can see that there. And then we need to go back and make an adjustment to the size because the QQ is quite a bit larger than the Q5. So let's go to Manage Printers and Machine Settings. And all we need to do in here is change all of these numbers to be 200. Just the first three. These are the width, the depth, and the height. That is how big of an object you can make with the Q5. Everything else is pretty much going to remain the same. We're going to leave the start and end g-code and then we are going to change the gantry height here to 200 as well. Uh, these four numbers we are going to leave, those are the print head settings and those need to remain the same. And now we can go ahead and drag in a model here. So let's see what I've got. Somewhere in here I have a bunch of files, I just need to find them. And the one that I'm looking for is in here somewhere. Let's see. Well, let's just grab a random one. This one's pretty good. Basically, you're going to drag your model in. Uh, this one is too large for the build plate. You can see by the stripey thing going on there. So let's take this down. Let's do 25% scale. It should be pretty tiny. Uh, and we can drag it over here onto the build plate. And there you have it. So from here, we would adjust our settings on this side. Uh, if you'd like to know more about actual Kira settings, I get into depth on those on several of the videos, so I'm not going to go into it now. But with the generic settings right off the bat, I did get a pretty good print. So you can just go ahead and click Slice. Um, you'll notice that I don't have support turned on. When you're working with Kira, this red color here is denoting an overhang that's probably going to need support. And you can see that it's not on right now. When I go to the preview mode, this gun is suspended in midair. Now this is not gonna print properly like this. The Delta is good, but it's not freaking amazing. So basically what we need to do is go and at least add support if we're gonna have serious overhangs like that. The way to do that is to scroll down in the settings here and click generate support. You will have to re-slice the model. And now you should see these support structures built up underneath the model holding it up and there you have it so it does use quite a bit more plastic but that is a necessary evil as far as getting accurate prints there are other possibilities for saving on that plastic and one of them is manipulating the model to be in a position where it is a little bit more ergodynamic for the printer so if I click on the rotate option while the model is selected here there's this handy tool called select base to align to build plate if I click on that and I click on a face on the object here and I'm going to be specific and click down here on the flat part of this handle, it now butts that part up against my bed. And as you can see, there are a lot less red lines to support. So basically, 
I'm gonna need some sort of support on the overhang of the trigger and in this part right here. Let's see what happens when we slice it. And it's also important to note that slicing it alone won't show you the support. You need to click preview mode and clicking preview mode won't give you a preview at all if you haven't sliced already. So that seems like a lot less support. We'd actually go back and do this the other way again and compare because it does give you a estimation of how many grams of filament and how many meters of filament you're going to use. And using these tools, it's a good way to find out the best orientation to print your model. In. There are some other factors when it comes to printing a model and orienting it the right way, but they're not necessarily as vital as just keeping an eye on those support lines and making sure that you're not going to have any extreme overhangs. Once the file is sliced, you can go ahead and save it. Uh, if you insert your micro SD card into the printer, it should say save to SD card or save to micro. Doing that will automatically put it onto the file that you can then insert into your printer. And then using the print fu function on the printer's screen, you can print said item. So, uh, I'm going to show you an item printed with this profile real quick and you can tell me what you think for yourself. So we are back looking at the printer here. Now this is a thermochromic print meaning it changes color with temperature. The super hot hot end is making it white as well as the bed but when it cools to room temperature it is that nice lovely magenta pink color. I'm going to go ahead and slide this out of the way because this wasn't sliced using our profile. This was one of the test prints that came with the printer. However, this is exactly a copy of what we're printing now. It was sliced with our Kira profile and it came out pretty phenomenally, I do say so myself, as well as these other two items, which I am very, very proud of. As you can see, this is a very, very detailed chess piece. Um, this is Anubis from the Egypt chess set. It's actually the knight in that chess set. And then we also got this lovely Decepticons logo so the prints are coming out very, very nice off of this machine, and this profile works splendidly. If you need any other tips or advice on this machine, feel free to leave me a comment down below. If this was helpful to you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're just taking a look because you're curious about the FL Sun Q5 or the QQ Mini, definitely get your hands on one for yourself. There is an affiliate link in the description down below. And when you buy that, it won't cost you anything extra, and it does contribute to the channel as well, which we always appreciate. Uh, support from viewers like you is what allows us to continue to do printer reviews and we've got a lot more coming at you so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the future reviews that we have coming out as well as a ton of other 3D printing videos. That's going to be it for this one guys. Technivorous out. Well that's it guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link, check out our Patreon link, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.